Hi everybody, this is a review video of third graders, chapter 7 and question 3. Okay, so we're supposed to find the non correct information according to this table here. Okay, so the above graph shows the revenue of the global games market per segment from 2012 to 2018. So it shows the revenue of the global games market and the total revenue of the global games market steadily increased from 7.6 billion to 2012 to 137.9 billion in 2018. So it says that the revenue is steadily increasing, which is correct, right? So that during this period, mobile games grew from the smallest segment to the biggest. So here, mobile games. This one is a mobile game. So from here and to here, I guess mobile game is one of the biggest right and eventually taking up more than half of the total revenue of the entire global games market to 2018 so more than half so yes this is a more than half so which is correct while the revenue of mobile games was less than half of that of console game in 2012 so in 2012 mobile was less than half of the console console we have 45 and mobile we have 18 so less than half which is correct was more than that of console game of 2015 2015 we have more mobile and console mobile is bigger right so this one is correct and the revenue of pc games was 30 percent or more of the total revenue for five years before it dropped under 25 in 2017 so for PC game, so it's in 2017, in 2017, we have PC game here, it dropped under 25%. 2017, PC is not under 20, 25%. So this is a non-correct information here. Okay. And while console games generate the most revenue among the three segments in 12, 2012 console was generating mo most revenue so here console was the biggest one yes the proportion of overall revenue continuously shrank thereafter so starting from 45 it shrank continuously so here this is correct so answer is number four and let's go to question number four here again we're supposed to find the non-correct information here the graph above shows the percent of post-secondary student ever changed major within three years of initial enrollment by original declared field of study. So it shows a uh, student changing their majors within three years of their initial enrollment. Okay? So whereas 35 of students who had originally declared STM, STEM major, changed their field of study. So for STEM major, STEM major, 35% change their major, which is correct. 29 of those who had originally declared a non-STEM major did so. So 29 non-STEM majors changed the uh, major, which is correct. Among students in STEM field, those majoring engineering, engineering technology changed majors at a lower rate than did the student majoring computer and information science so we have an engineering major and computer major so it says that the engineer uh, engineering majors lower late so we are have, have here engineering major is higher rate than the computer major so number one um, number three is not correct and among student in non stem field student start out to study education or the likeliest of all the change in the majors 37 percent of those who initially declared education as their major and ended up majoring in something else so here education so here 37 percent right 37 percent of ed education they changed to their uh, major into something else which is correct beginning with the 30, 30, 
And among students in non-STEM field, students in other applied field had the lowest major change rate at 22. So other applied section, 22. Right? So which is correct. And followed by those healthcare at 26. So healthcare 26. So which is correct. So number three is the non-correct information. Okay. So that wraps up our chapter 7 video. Thank you. Thank you for watching.